three, two, one. Hey, what's up, everybody? Glenn Snyder here with Ministry of Defense, LLC. I want to phone with me today for our vlog is Dr. Corbett Everidge. Um, and we'll hit you with something today, brother. I know you're going to love. You're going to love this. We're going to talk about martial arts. You know you scared me every time you say that. <laughs> I know, I know. I was doing it on purpose. Oh, God. <laughs> try, try to get you, you know, get you on the edge, man. Get you hanging on the edge. Get that blood pressure. Everybody don't know that. Glenn will call me and say, hey, you're going to love this. I'm like, Oh dear God! It's usually, I usually hit him with something that he ain't gonna love. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, what I was gonna do today? Uh, what I like to do as we move forward, um, you know, we are we we really like to focus on self protection, um, you know, and with that become you know comes the martial arts. And that's where we we store martial artists. We started we, we trained for many many years in martial arts, in various styles, forms, what what have you. Um, but oh, I, you know, surfing through. You know, here recently I've surfed through the internet one thing i see a lot of back for back and forth talk i don't want to call it controversy but a lot of back and forth talk you see a lot of people you know tomato tomato talk uh, you what what's the best martial arts for self-defense well i mean i think that's a question that can never be asked uh, answered because uh, I, I think every each style of martial arts it has its own purpose it has its own philosophy um, it has its, you know, its own set of techniques. I mean, yeah, you know, you got punches, kicks, you know, what have you, grabs, whatever the case may be. But they're all different. Everything, I don't think, even within in karate, you know, karate splinters out to so many different, and I'll call them denominations. <laughs> uh, you know, if, I guess it could be a good way of saying it. Because you got karate, you know, you have Kyokushin, Shitoru, Gojuru, you know, Shotokan, and then it just keeps, and then the line just keeps going and going and going and going. And it splinters off into so many different directions. But even with that, and, and I'll use, I'll use, say, Shitoru as an example, you may have 10 Shitoru ru schools in, a, in an area, or say in a, in a state. And all 10 of those schools, even though they're Shitoru, may teach things differently. They're not going to be the same. It could be from technique. It could be from philosophy. It could be it, it, a number of things. You could have a Shito Ru school that ain't teaching Shito Ru. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we, we won't go there right now. No, we won't. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's but that that's how it is. It could be it could be anything. But Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and now I think now from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu standpoint, you know, you guys like your your Gracie related schools guys that have went through the gracie program stuff like that from a quality control standpoint i think those guys do a very good job of of maintaining uh uniformity throughout their organizations um i think kyokushin does a pretty decent job of that now of course you start getting splinter now you, you, there are some splinters you know and we see how that works in the political world um you start going out from japan and places like that the way things splinter out and there, there's politics involved but um, you know, just because somebody is a karate school or a Muay Thai school, or, they're going to do things differently. And to say that this art is better at self-defense than this art and this art, it, it's really tough to say. I think that's something, it, that's something that's it's in the eye of the beholder. Um, I, I think it's a tough thing to answer because everything is so different. And what I would like us to do moving forward, you know, is start looking at some of these things. Now, obviously, if we talk, if we do a review or talk about, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we're not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioners. What I would love to do is have someone that is versed in that that art to have that conversation with us. Because what they'll do is they'll teach us something. They'll 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 take us down a path that maybe we not have thought of. And uh, I think in order to justify a conversation on a lot of arts, is you need to talk to somebody that's been there and done that. You know, um, it's just something that's been on my mind, and I see that conversation all the time. And you know, and, and I have to laugh because we both love Master Ken. You know, <laughs> Ameridote. <laughs> Maybe that's the best self defense art, Ameridote. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> that guy. Cool if you guys that have never been on, go on YouTube and look for Master Ken. Just look up mas the word Master Ken. This guy is great. I mean, he, he, he. <laughs> I, I have, to be honest with you, I have no clue if he actually knows any martial arts whatsoever. I, I don't know what his background is as far as that goes. But he basically takes he takes what we see, <coughs> the, the competitiveness, competitiveness or the, uh, the back and forth or the controversy between arts. He basically takes all that and, and makes a parody of it. It is hilarious. He's got this sidekick with him. He always beats the hell out of him, does mean shit too. And it's, it's, just, it's just funny. 
But it's really funny to guys like me in court because we, I mean, we have seen it. I mean, it's, it, it, we have lived that, you know, like comedians, a lot of comedians are, are great because they've seen things, they've lived things, and they take those experiences they lived and they bring them to the stage <coughs> and they and, and they and they make everybody laugh. Well, that's what this guy does. <coughs> Excuse me. He you just got the, not all over everybody. <laughs> I got no. I, I got the road. No, I don't. I don't. Waste the wind, Pointerville over here. I got the cotton mouth. That's the problem. Mm, no, okay, it's your lie. You talking about <laughs> But uh, I'm getting excited talking about martial arts. But uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, so I mean that's something that, that it it just strikes me whenever I see these conversations with people and. Oh, your art sucks, you know. That's what the thing that Master King guy does. He'll say, he'll come in, Krav Maga, bullshit. You know, karate is bullshit. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you the one that really does grinds my gears. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I took uh, the best parts of this and the best parts of, you know, I took the best parts of Kyokushin, I took the best parts of BJJ, and I took the best parts of, you know, of monkey scratching his nuts, dug food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... They and took then the, I made my own style. They took the best parts. The only one they they tried to learn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you know, you're, you've, you've, I tell you what, you want to talk about being a guru? Uh, <laughs> you know, I, one thing you pointed out, Glenn, that I'm I think you know that going forward on this topic, I would stress to everybody to, to keep in mind is is two points: quality control. My hats. I mean, I've never set foot on BJJ mat. I'd like to, but those guys and ladies have a very very good quality control issue you, you don't you put on a fake black belt with them it's not going to end well for you they'll tie you up with it <laughs> yeah. they'll put you in you a know, knot with it come, coming from kyokushin you know you can go on the internet it, it is it is very very difficult to find a kyokushin black belt i'm talking about a an authentic kyokushin black belt <clears throat> and 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 we can tell if it's real or not uh, there's certain ways it's marked up. If you're, if, if, you know, we can tell yep. like that guy, we, that was wearing a black Kyokushin gi, mm -hmm. no sunshine <laughs> you know, that don't, it don't work that way. Right. But, uh, but yeah, you know, and then the politics, um, I'm oh, going to yeah. give a, a, a plug, if you will. Uh, for Santa, for Sheehan, Roman, Herman, and then our, our organization, the United States Kyokushin. Um, that's the reason we started it. We had been affiliated with the World World Karate Organization, Shin Kyokushin, when I began training under him. And it's just politics. Yeah. And there's no, uh, no shade to those guys. I still respect them. I love them to death. But, uh, it will poison the martial arts school, and then you then you start going into this, and it's just, you know, it, there's just it's like looking for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, man. You not it's not going to happen. Right, that's right. And I think I think that's an important thing for people to understand that, <clears throat> you know, you pick one and ride, you pick one and go, you know, um, whatever style may be. Uh, it may be all, it may be the only style you have access to. You know, like like you you said many times when we were growing up. Around here, you know, the pickings were slim. You didn't have a lot of options. You know, you had, what, maybe two, three karate schools, and really one of them was really reputable. <laughs> I mean, back, if you want to call that reputable, back in the day, you know, um, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot around where we were. So, you know, depending on where you're at, what you have access to. But then again, you got the other side of the coin, that you've got access to a whole lot, and maybe not a whole lot of it's really that, you know, really, I don't want to use the word good, uh, it, it may not be what you need, <laughs> as I guess is a good way of putting it. You know, I um, mean, you know, if a person is six foot nine and teaching them a judo, I'm not going to work out too well for them. Right. Uh, you know, but, you know, and I, I mean, and, and there's obviously exceptions to that rule. The worst person I ever trained judo with is about five foot two. You know, a stunt. It's like trying to pull a tree stump <laughs> out of the ground, man. Yep. But, you know, you know, going forward, I will tell everybody this. You know, this is my, my opinion. Uh, you find what, number one, works for your body type. Yep. You find what you want out of it. And here's the big one. Find the one that brings you the peace. 
Yeah. You know, because you, you're if you got to use this stuff when your life depends on it and you hate it, that's a problem. That's right. You know, that's like, you know, well, let's look at it from a firearms perspective, Lynn. You know, you want to go out and spend, you know, I'm an AK guy, so I don't even know what handguns cost. But you're going to go out and spend all this time, all this money on a, on a handgun, you know, and then the, and the super duper prostate holster to hide it from everybody. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> why would you buy difficult. something that, that, <laughs> that don't fit you or you, or you just don't like it? Yeah. You know, why would you do any different than, than when, you, when you're choosing a martial art? Yeah, just like anything else. You've got to get what fits you, what works for you, and uh, what, what tickles your fancy. You know, what, no, that's BJJ, great, you know. Yeah. Go with it, man. Yeah, do what, you know. And, and it also, t- and again, let me go back to the, the kind of the beginning of the conversation. I'm looking at it from a self-protection or self-defense perspective that, <clears throat> you know, what, what, it's go- what, what for me – is going to work in my mind to achieve my end goal, which is to protect myself, which is, you know, that old shit moment out, out there in, in life where, you know, there's nobody there but me to handle it versus the other thing. And I, so I'm not talking about, you know, there are a lot of, lot of arts <clears throat> and I, in this is my opinion. I'm going to like Taekwondo as, as an example from, oh from a, no, from, from a sport martial art, from a sport, from a sport <laughs> martial art, you know, for our competitive competitive art, Taekwondo is really good. I mean, you know, you can, I love watching. Uh, uh, you know, you watching the Taekwondo. I just watch. I love watching the kicks. I'm, I'm a kicker. I like watching kicks. Did you say Taekwondo or take ones <clears throat> Well, it could be either way. Taekwondo. <laughs> Taekwondo. <don't. laughs> I said you what went there. I didn't. Mean? But uh, <laughs> but no. But but from a competitive standpoint, it's great. Um. But you know, I because I've I've trained with some guys in the past that were Taekwondo guys. And, you know, from a, how should I say this, from a, well, from a self-protection, or let's just say from a street pr- perspective, from an old shit perspective, uh, those guys would have a, a tough time with the tool set that they, they've trained to use. I mean, Unless you have to be Mirko Krokop. Uh, yeah, well, again, there are exceptions to every rule, but I'm looking for just the average Joe Schmo out there. There ain't a whole lot of, ain't a whole lot of Krokops out there walking around on the street these days. Thank God. <laughs> got the legs of steel man but uh but you know and again that's just my opinion in my because it's based on my experiences and you know i but you know so it, and everybody said crab's the best well maybe not you know there's a whole i mean there's a whole world of stuff out there that you need to go and and look and somebody says well this is the only art you need they're full of shit you need you need experience in a lot of different things you know a doctor a guy goes to school to be a doctor you know, he still has to take math classes. You know, he still has to need to have that background. He still has to take English. He still has to take all these other things, electives, you know, foreign languages, whatever the case may be, even though it, that doesn't really make any difference to take him if he's prescribed me the medicine that may kill me, you know, you know what I'm saying? Save my right. life. So, you know, you need to learn, you need to, you, you need to be well-rounded. You need to know a little bit about a lot of things. Um, but don't take that as saying, okay, I'm going to take the best parts of this and the best part of that. Because, you know, unless you immerse yourself and you learn everything about that, you don't know if you got the best part. But understand, you know, it's like when you were talking about with, uh, Sensei Jerry going to tournaments and him having you sit down and pick out, you know, what style is that guy? What style is that guy? What, what school is he from? You know, even though you may not necessarily train in those arts, you knew enough where you could identify then you sort of knew what you were working with. <clears throat> it gives you an yeah. idea of what you're working with. And I think that's super important that to be well to be well rounded, to have as much knowledge base and, and and you know, you have your core. That that's a given. Now you got your dedication, you got your core. But you know, don't get stuck in the core. Don't get stuck in that one hole. Go out here and learn as much about everything as you can and become the most well rounded person. And then I think you have a pretty good base to stand on. Is that would that be? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, we could probably have a podcast on this. But, uh, oh, absolutely, and that and that's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, this I've, is, I've and honestly, I'm on. I'm on. I agree with you. You know, you know, you got to be uh, immersed and knowledgeable. As I'm getting older, I'm going back to my core. 
uh, meaning, you know, I still, you know, I mean, if, you know, by all means, you know, if there's a reputable BJJ guy out there, you know, I'll, I'd, I'd love to learn that stuff. Will it replace Kyokushin for me? Never. Right. Because but, that has really become so much of a part of who I am. That's what I revert to. That's your identity. Right. You know, and, but, but, but you did, but, but, you know, over the years, you've stepped out of that, stepped out of that circle and went out here and, and grab these other pieces and, 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 and identify these other pieces of the pie. And I well, think yeah, that I mean, and, and, exactly, and, you know, now if you want to, if we want to start grappling, you know, I'm, I've also got a black belt in judo. I mean, but right. that's right. But you know, I'm a, I guess what I'm saying in response to that is, is, you know, I think, you know, you got to look at where you are in life. <clears throat> right. You know, I mean, I'm not sure that, you know, there are 70 some odd year olds that's training Bowie Thai, but they, but they don't, just don't advertise it a lot, I don't think. Right. Um, you know, and I mean, I, I'd be interested in learning about that. I, mean, I don't know what the, that's one thing I reached out to a Sambo instructor not too long ago. I, I was just curious. I said, how does this, this art, this sport that you teach carry over in old age? And surprisingly he said quite well if you watch the youtube videos on it like man you can't you, you know you do this by the time you're 40 you're gonna be in a wheelchair right my my advice to people on that is is, is don't take everything you see at youtube or, or or what you just read in a magazine or book don't take that at face value experience um, it experience it right. experience it and, and look what you what you see may not be what you see Right. Uh, I'll leave it at that. That's for another discussion. You know, and if you go out and you and you and you test the waters, different waters with different people, um, you're also going to be able to develop a, a <clears throat> bullshit meter. Um, you you'll be able to tell when once you've got some experience, you can see if this guy right here is full of shit or if he really knows his shit. You know, and that's one of the things that you really start. And I ain't taking shots at nobody, but there's people out there that know more than other people. That's like that mm-hmm. in any in any in any field of, of anything. I've got a very, very, very good friend of mine. I mean, not, I, I love, I mean, I know this sounds cliche, but I love him like a brother. I mean, he's a, just a, he's, he's family without having my, my DNA. His style of what he teaches, uh, I'll, I'll pass. Right. You mess with him on the street, you've made a very, very poor error in judgment. <laughs> uh, right. But, you know, <clears throat> It's just he's very good at what he does. Yeah. It's just not for me. Yeah. So I guess my you know going back to my main kind of talk, the reason for wanting to talk about this today is the question. You know, it, people say, "What is the best self defense art? What is the best best self protection art?" And I would say there's no perfect one. You know, there's some good ones. You know, depends on how how quick, how much time you want to willing to put into something, how much you know, how much how immersed do you want to get. Um, But that's a question that you know I think you can't look at a YouTube video or or listen to somebody. Somebody tell you, somebody tells you this is the art, this is the main art. Um, I would question that person's motives because there's no, in my opinion, there's no one specific art that's that's the best for that. I think social you, media and YouTube has done more damage to the martial arts, to, to the traditional martial arts, right, than anything in the past fifty years. Right. No, I, I, I mean, would agree. You know, and I, and and YouTube, please, I know you know all the algorithms. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not blaming you. I'm not. No, it's I'm not YouTube's con- fault. I'm blaming the content creators. Right. That's right. Yes, you know, YouTube's the platform, y'all. You know, Thank God for you. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the people that put something out just to put something out, or put something out to make themselves look a certain way, or whatever the case may be. Um, that's one of the reasons that we you know, we don't do a lot of you know, how to videos. You know, go out there and I'm going to teach you how to do a, a Nippon Sanagi. Well, <clears throat> because there's going to be five thousand people out there that have a different idea of what it needs to be done and whatever you do is going to be wrong and i don't need that water muddied for the people that i'm trying to reach and so that's one of the reasons plus on the other side of that too is if you want to learn how to train they come you, you come pay like everybody else well, exactly. that, <laughs> you that's know. my big uh, i mean i'm i've I, you know i look at a little bit deeper than that glenn you know i went somewhere you know two or three times a week and uh, got my ass kicked yeah 
and you think I'm going to give it to you on YouTube for free? Yeah. No. And, and, no, 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 sweetheart. We ain't doing that. And, and you, you hit the nail on the head. You went somewhere, and you physically got your ass handed to you. That's how you learn. You know, a surgeon doesn't become a surgeon by, you know, reading about surgery. They act, they actually go in there and work on cadavers. They get their hands dirty. They have to they have to go in there and they have to cut flesh. And that's that you know, you can watch videos all day long on something. It gives you an idea. You can okay, I get an understanding of something, but until you physically put your hands in there and you feel something and you feel it, whether it's whether it's you're doing it to someone or they're doing it to you or whatever the case may be, um, that's whenever the, the, the rubber meets the road. That's, it's a good supplement. It does not replace the meal. That's exact. That's exactly right. That's a. Hey, that, you we need to put that in a book. <laughs> it's a great supplement, but it's not the meal. I love that. Oh, I need to put that in the title. <laughs> yes, everybody know him and Lee's been busting my marbles for the past two weeks about writing a book. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I just, keep stepping in this. Uh, he's the word meister. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm saying it right here today. He's the word meister. You, you keep a look at Amazon, Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyway um think about that question think about that you know what for you what what would you know if you want to take a path you know you know what what in your mind what what do you think okay what's a good place to start uh in the martial arts if i'm Kill wanting to go there you go Kill you. <laughs> if you're Kill wanting you. to do you know if you're looking at protecting yourself making yourself to have a level of toughness uh mm -hmm. how, you know, there you go. <laughs> have, have have that level of, of skill. Um, that's what you need. Those are the kinds of things you need to, to dig deep on when you're wanting to look for something in the self defense, self protection. So anyway, that's why I wanted to bring up today. So what we're going to do is we move forward here. You know, hopefully the things will start getting. We'll get our new normal in order. <laughs> Oh, for God. Now, there you go again. I knew he'd like that. So anyway, once we can kind of get things back settled again, and we start getting, we can get you get the mingling, and we can get some people in here. I really want to take start doing you know, special shows dedicated to specific arts. I think that would be great. And okay. you know, there you, <laughs> we're gonna definitely do that one. Um, I would love. There's a couple people I'd love to get pulled in on that conversation too. I know uh, one of them I'd like to get involved. He definitely have to be by the phone. I don't think we can get him in here. Uh, uh, locally anytime soon but uh let me know but uh i definitely uh, w once we can get back together and we get the same room again uh, we're, we're gonna get this kicked off um if i can figure out a good way of doing it you know maybe at some video conferencing or do something like that we'll uh, uh we'll put you know try to in invoke technology to make it happen but uh i'll look into that and for you because know, i want again i want to do it for you guys because uh, we learn from this too but we want you guys to learn something and get something out of it so anyway i'll cut it off there i won't drag it on any longer so until next time you guys be safe look after each other now Kyokushin. i love it Kyokushin. be safe <laughs>